Janice Ray, the author of Ecology of a Cracker Child, shows her life and describes her ecology through literary elements. These elements describe much more than they appear to. On page 41, Ray says, He would leap into the chocolate milk head and all. She turns the dirty river water her grandpa used to swim into into a thought-provoking metaphor compelled by imagery. Ray continues to display her own understanding of her home through the simile. At night, the stars are thick and bright as a pint jar of butterflies. The moon at a full pearly orb sailing through them like an egret. She signifies the beauty of her homeland as well as the way nature affects not only the way she views life, but her own personal ecology. On page 65, Ray personifies herself through the quote, A forest never tells its secrets but reveals them slowly over time. In a longleaf forest is full of secrets. The longleaf pine can grow at a maximum height between 80 and 100 feet and live up to 300 years. It is home to many endangered species such as multiple woodpecker species. These species don't just live there. They rely on these trees to find food, shelter, and other necessities of life in which we may never know about. However, I don't believe this quote is just about a longleaf pine. It also shows Ray is very complex as a longleaf forest is. Similar to the longleaf forest, Ray uses a common animal like the flatwood salamander to symbolize herself. On page 220, she says, Since flatwood salamanders are most common in areas maintained by regular burning, fire seems to be one of its requirements. This seems to be telling her story. Being burned, Ray had struggled. However, through this struggling, she pushed through the bad, allowing the good to take over her life in the form of the successful person she becomes. As Ray did, I've gone through multiple disastrous moments in my life, but through my family, friends, God, sports teams, dog, and the land around me, I am able to push through them. These are the biotic factors that make up my life. These factors are able to explain, describe, and truly tell my maxim better than anyone or anything could. Along with the biotic factors, many abiotic factors are present affecting my everyday life, such as my phone, video games, my truck, beaches, sunshine, and the gym. These factors come together to make me into who I am today. Not only do these factors affect my life, but those around me. The world can be so much smaller than it seems. Therefore, factors in the life of one may positively or negatively affect the factors in the life of another. Let your factors turn you into a positive, life-changing person.